It's good to see your smiling faces in some sunny skies today. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. Runners, ready! The St. Michael's Running Festival was started several years ago by a local guy who's lived here, loves the Eastern Shore. His name is Peter Paris, and he did a great job. It really shows off the Eastern Shore and all its beauty, and it's a flat course, which runners like. Opportunity came along for Charm City Run to take it off Peter's hands. Uh, we welcome the opportunity. First of all, we've run the race before, and so we know the experience that people have when they come to St. Michael's. But on top of that, we were just super excited to bring this festival atmosphere to the races that we do already. The experience at the festival is really a beat. Charm City always puts on uh, really great races, and it's also an opportunity to see St. Michael's and Easton. It's the sense of community, and you're not gonna get that going out running by yourself, it makes it so much better. So this past year with COVID has been really hard. Just having races come back and having finish lines come back, I think it's really exciting. We were excited to be able to partner with several Talbot County nonprofits, the Humane Society, uh, Talbot Goes Purple, several groups that are doing things right here where the race is held and where a lot of the participants are coming from. NovaCare Physical Therapy has been a great supporter of ours. They really help the athletes when they finish. And Brooks Running, I mean, you know, probably been one of our best partners for the last 20 years. Great shoes, great brand, and their support has just been amazing. We were really excited to be able to use the Maritime Museum for our post-race party. Have a drink, have some food, just relax and enjoy the accomplishment of running the race that you just finished. They had a full-blown party, music, everyone was upbeat, super happy. There's just like lots of good food and music and fun and just a ton of people like celebrating a good day. You know, obviously it's been a really tough um, year and a half with events being canceled and it felt like, you know, we had a return to normalcy. It's a lot of fun. It's about getting people moving and trying to help them be their best selves. That's what it's about.